ran into this story about Lori Lightfoot, and I'll pull up the story here because I want to I want to read read some of it uh, to you guys. I'll share the screen here. Um, I ran into the story and I was appalled just by the headline of it itself. Right. So let's make sure that the shares. There we go. Cool. Uh, so headline Chicago mayor spent over two hundred and eighty one million dollars in virus relief fund on police payroll. Uh, and this is from the Grio. They kind of compile stories together and, and um, itemize them in, a, in an easy to read fashion is what they what, what they seem to be doing, I think. Um, but, you know, I've, I've found articles very helpful and corroborated with with other sources and things of that sort. So uh, this reads the revelation that Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot spent two hundred and eighty one point five million dollars in federal covid relief funds on personal co personnel costs of the Chicago Police Department is prompting outrage from local activists and citizens alike. We asked for assurances they uh, wouldn't spend it all on the police. Uh, Alderman Daniel Lapspata said on Wednesday. The last thing people wanted uh, to, uh, the last thing people wanted to infuse hundreds of millions uh, uh, more dollars into the police department right now, right? And, and this is sort of an insult to the defund the police and the Black Lives Matter movement that we saw. And Lori Lightfoot, um, and and feel free to correct me if I am wrong about this, but my understanding of Lori Lightfoot was that she was this hyper progressive democrat you know this aoc style democrat and she was black and this was a big deal and we got rid of Rahm Emanuel, who was this corrupt republican jackass that was wrecking the city and oh my god this look at this progressive that's going to come in and and she's going to save the day she's going to save the the democratic party uh in the city of chicago that's kind of how i thought she was being put forward i might be wrong about that if i am wrong about that please feel free to leave a comment about it but that's the way that i saw her being presented. Uh, the figure came into light after Lightfoot asked for city council approval to transfer $65 million uh, in unspent federal funds into the 2021 budgets. Activists have planned a news conference for Thursday to speak out against a large portion of the $1.2 billion in Corona relief uh, funds from the federal government going to the Chicago Police Department, right? So there's a lot of people that are pissed off uh, that, that this this Democratic mayor who was on the side of the protesters um, is spending more money on an already overfunded police department. Chicago police is one of the most uh, notoriously racist and notoriously overfunded police departments out there. Um, and fun fact about the city of Chicago, they don't own their parking meters. The country of Dubai actually owns their parking meters. So fun little fact there. Uh, so, so this is, this is one of the important things, right? So author, uh, poet Professor Eve L. Ewing broke down the allocation in simpler terms on Instagram. Let's do the math. Uh, let's say the federal government gave Chicago $100 for COVID relief. That's the equivalent of the police getting $69.48, public health getting $4.47, the Office of Emergency Management, which oversees 911 and 311, among other things, getting $1.98, and family Support services, which includes youth services, senior services, support for unhoused people, support for vets, workforce support, and more, getting 50, count them, 50 cents. A budget is a moral document, and this right here is not right. So again, Democrats, after they make this big thing of supporting the black community and they want to see you know minority communities succeeding and minority communities coming out and saying yes we would like that as well but we need to defund the police and reallocate those funds to social services to mental health programs to this that and third they're basically coming out and saying yes we hear you we agree with you but fuck you we're going to fund the police anyway Joe Biden wants to give the police even more money for sensitivity. No, no, no. They can do the fucking sensitivity training programs now with, with the millions and millions of dollars that they're getting. New York City gets $6 billion for their police department. $6 billion. That's an insane amount of money. Even cutting half of that can, can help the homeless in that, in that uh, city. Can reopen some of the hospital beds that Andrew Cuomo closed up. I mean, reallocating these funds can be incredibly helpful for the American people. And they just don't give a shit because they need to fear monger a whole, a whole lot more. 
This is the last part of the article. It says the Office of Management and Budget stated on Wednesday that funds were reimbursed to the CPD for costs incurred early in the pandemic, including wellness checks on residents, airport security increases, plus security at McCormick Place Field Facility and virus testing sites. Well, why weren't why wasn't their astronomical budget covering all of those things in the first place? That's why we have the police department, right? To provide security, to provide safety for the people where they need it. So if they were doing wellness checks on residents and, and, and were at virus testing sites and airport security and this, that, and the third, that should be allocated in their enormously giant hundreds and millions of dollar budget. Why wasn't it? You're telling me that the police weren't prepared for the thing that they were supposed to be fucking prepared for? And you want to give them more money to basically help them do their basic jobs. That doesn't check out. That doesn't add up. Fury Chicago Chicagoans took to Twitter uh, to push back against Lightfoot's actions and the city explaining one wrote, uh, explanation. One wrote, the city of Chicago got $403 million in COVID relief money and Lori Lightfoot gave $280 million or 65% to the police. If that doesn't make you see that the police are actively depriving our city of resources and causing economic insecurity, then I don't know what to tell you. The mayor, a Democrat, had not directly commented by Thursday morning. So this is this is coming um, about two weeks ago is when the story really broke. And again, this really just shows you that the Democrats have no intention of upholding the things that they said they were going to uphold. I mean, this was this was the big thing, right? Like Democrats coming out and saying, like, yeah, we support these protests and these protests are really important. Uh, and then once the protest started saying, yeah, we wanted to fund the police and reallocate funds, how many Democrats, because the Republicans were going to use that as a weapon against them, and it's going to make the Democrats look bad, and we're trying to get more conservative voters to vote Democrat because the Democratic Party really is the Republican Party, and the Republican Party is really this far-right extremist evangelical party. They were like, oh, we're not going to defund the police. We're not going to, but we believe we, you know, we want to respect the uh, communities of color, but we're not going to defund the police. We're not going to do what you think, uh, what, what you have provably said is going to solve the problem of police brutality uh, and racism in the criminal justice system. But we're going to give you some platitudes. Isn't that enough? Isn't that enough? And the answer is no, it's not enough. Now you have to back up what you say because what you said is what got you elected. And now if you're not going to do what you said, then we have no reason to keep you around. I mean, this is a bad look for, for uh, Lori Lightfoot. And, you know, the question I have is how long are we going to wait for this sort of corruption? Uh, how long are we going to take this sort of corruption and be okay with it? In 2022, what's going to happen? I don't think there, there, there is no legitimate way for anybody to come out and say uh, that voting for Democrats and putting them in power in a position of power is going to yield any sort of true bold change that needs to take place right now. So in 2022, when we have another, you know, midterms, when we have the midterm elections, the Democrats don't have fuck all to stand by and and then some right wing you know fucking populists like Josh Hawley uh, can come in and sweep the democrats or or a majority of us can vote for the green party or the libertarians or the people's party and put them in a position of power so that they will actually vote for health care. They will actually defund the police. They will actually do the progressive things that the Democrats claim that they will do. Without the hypocritical, you know, bullshit platitudes that the party regurgitates out there for people. So... That's where we're headed to. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, uh, please make sure that you hit the like button, 
hit the share button, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, whether it's on Rockfin, YouTube, or Facebook. Especially Facebook and YouTube, they often uncensor people, uh, un unsubscribe people, and they censor this content. So if you want to keep up to date, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell button so you get notifications of when I'm putting up new videos and when I am going live. I usually go live uh, on uh, Fridays and on Mondays. Uh, and if you want more information about a, a bunch of the other stuff that I do, uh, whether it's my Forkful of Noodles podcast, the Taboo Table Talk interview podcast, or the Road Reflections live streams, uh, make sure you go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. There you'll find past episodes of, uh, of various shows that I, uh, that I do, as well as information about when I'll be performing live virtual comedy shows, the Forkful of Noodles live virtual comedy shows. Uh, the dates and tickets will be available directly on my website. But if you're also on financial stable ground, you can help contribute to the show financially by making a one-time donation or becoming a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets and bonus content. You can go to krishmohanhaha.com slash donate to, to make any kind of financial contributions. But if you can't, it's not a necessity. Most of my stuff is available for free and for everybody to enjoy. So again, go to krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. -H 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 -A, and I hope to see you at the next video.